Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be testing out viral Instagram slime colouring trends. And I've seen so many trends on Instagram recently that are quite new, so I just wanted to show you all the ways you can dye off things with kind of making it a fun way instead of just adding it into the mix. So first up, we have one using a tennis racket. This trend was started by Muck Muds on Instagram, and the idea of it is that when you put the slime on top, everything drips down, and hers drip down so much more delicately than mine did. They kind of look like raindrops. I think maybe she had it higher up. That might be the the trick or maybe even lower down I'm not entirely sure but mine felt a bit different the end result ended up being quite similar and it was kind of this like watercolor marble style thing everything was still really bright none of the colors really merged together but if they were close in color they would kind of like merge at the edges which was quite fun and I really enjoyed mixing this in because the dyes quite added so many nice noises and I knew at the end this is probably gonna turn a gray color anyway so that's why I added the clay in but I did really really enjoy this method I do recommend it if you're just trying it with your friends but the one thing about it as you saw is the filming setup is kind of hard because you have to hold the racket and if you're holding your phone that's hard but also the lighting changes all the time so it goes really sunny and then really dark Next up we have makeup mixing and this is one of my favorite things to do at the moment. I got a rainbow eyeshadow palette and this one was like a neon one and it looks so so cool. So I bought it, put some clear slime on top and the quality of this was so good. When I rolled it off, like you can see here, it was so pigmented. It looks so beautiful. It was such like a watercolor slime which was different to the really cheap palette I bought if you watched my makeup mixing video a while ago. But this was so easy to work with. It also had so much product so I knew it was gonna give an end result that was really different from any of the other palette mixings I tried. I really really like the colours all mixed together. I knew it was going to turn into a bad colour but I really love how the base was so pretty when you were mixing it in because it just made everything so much more pleasant. The one thing I did really notice about this palette in particular is although it was really beautiful it had so much powder that it kind of made it into a slime that you can't really play with because it was so powdery and it didn't turn into like a buttery clay texture. It just turned into this texture with loads of bumps in it. The one method I thought would be absolutely safe and fail proof was just the worst method mm -hmm. ever. I think it was maybe the paints I used. I saw this on Prime from Slime and I think she might have used acrylic paints because mine were watercolour and like you can see it was not a good time. It was not a good time. The colours worked really well together though and I found that I added a bit more purple and yellow than I thought. So the colour actually didn't end up brown, it turned up pink. So it was a good result but a really bad method. For me personally, I guess if you try it with other dyes or you know other colours it could work. It also could be that my slime was also a tiny bit underactivated. I would say Slime Obsidian is the biggest trendsetter at the moment for slime trends and he tried this amazing method where he dropped in loads of food dyes into clear slime. I think it might have been a ready-made clear slime because his method was a bit more thick than mine but I just added in some dye and then what you do is you pour it on top of shaving foam and shaving foam holds its shape really well. It's also really fun to look at. I thought these colours were so complimentary and initially when I added it I thought I was adding a different colour. I thought I grabbed the blue but the brune actually worked really really well 
well with it. It ended up being a mint green and I wanted more of a purple tone because this purple is so pretty so I just kept adding it. Then when it was all mixed in I went in with my borax solution and this activated really easily. If you guys don't know I think shaving foam actually has bicarbonate of soda which is also a slime activator. It just speeds up the process a bit. Alone it doesn't work as a slime activator but paired with contact lens solution or borax solution it kind of speeds everything up so I needed literally no more activator than I showed in the clip. It stays really sticky for a while but then the more you need it the better it gets. Avalanche slimes are a trend that really got me into slime as well and when I was first starting out I always used to see them around and really wanted to try it but at the time I didn't have enough money to actually make slime and this was so fun for me because not only was it a throwback but it was also just really fun to see all the colours mix in and with clear slimes I was kind of wondering if the colours would stay in suspension like this. I found they did a little longer but they ended up a really nice like milky colour. It kind of looks like slime OG's condensed milk just a bit greyer but it was really fun to play with and also super crunchy. Next method I found via Dream Slime Co and this is such a fun one. So it's rainbow coloured water. I think she used food dye not food colouring and then there's loads of snow on the bottom and I was trying out a new brand because Dope Slime sent me this one and it has loads of fallout but it's also so easy to make cloud slimes and I'm literally the worst at making cloud slimes so I was so pleasantly surprised at the result of this. So I poured in all the colours and it turned into this nice rainbow one. It was really fun to mix in because the colours seeped into the snow in different areas so every time you picked it up there was a new layer of color and it formed a cloud slime and I was so proud of myself because I'm so bad at making them but this was actually really good and the colors turned out really cute. Barry M sent me some makeup to mix into slime and this is one of their glitter rush things. I've added this before, I loved it. This is the first one that I've added that isn't duochrome. Actually no, I've tried a blue one too, I lied. But this is so nice and it did actually kind of turn out duochrome because it has like a peach base and then gold. In a normal slime I guess this would be achieved by having a neon pink and then some gold glitter or pigment in there. I don't know how it works with body glitters but I just thought this was really interesting.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to say that I'm going to be traveling for the next two months. I'm going to try so hard to stay on schedule and upload every week. I do have some pre-film content, but I really want to film some collabs and I don't know what you guys want to see or who you want to see it with, but please leave some requests with people you want to see in the comments because I'm going to be seeing loads of Instagram stars and also YouTube stars. So just let me know who you want to be in my videos and I'll try and contact them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.